I love paranormal television. The problem is, what you see on TV, that isn't what a real ghost hunt looks like. So we came up with Paranormal Generation, a show for serious paranormal enthusiasts. No tricks, no Hollywood glitz, no faked evidence. Just a real science-based paranormal investigation, led by Pert Strutz and the members of Midwest Preternatural Research. The team goes to haunted locations throughout the Midwest, looking for authentic evidence of the paranormal. What well, do you guys think the uh, first public meet and greet we had went pretty good today? Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Yeah, I was impressed with the turnout. Yeah, we had a great time. Well guys, we are getting ready to go on our next investigation. This is gonna be a great one. We're heading to the Roth home. Famed Roth home, very popular place down there. We have a special guest going with us today. Justin, why don't you tell us about our guest? Yeah, I'd like to introduce Erica Johnson. She's gonna be joining us uh, for the Make-A-Wish program. Uh, and it was her wish to do an investigation with an actual paranormal team. So she'll be down there with us. Excellent. Well, we're gonna head down. Watsika Wonder, they call it, the Roth home. John, the owner, is gonna be meeting us down there, getting us into the house. We're gonna have the full run of the house. It's gonna be a great time and a good investigation for us. Good. So we'll get set up and head down there in the next couple days. You excited? Yep. All Very right. excited. Good. All right, let's eat some cookies. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Cookie. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to the Raw Home. Excellent, we're excited to be here. This is a great opportunity to come through the house here and check out what's really going on here as far as paranormal stuff goes. Uh, we're gonna take Matt with us right now. We're gonna go on a tour of the property with you. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you'll give us one. Mm -hmm. And nothing else, let us know some of the hot areas in the property where things have happened to other people, other investigators that have been through here, or to yourself if you're willing to divulge that information. Mm -hmm. And let us know about the property, the history, and anything paranormal going on in the building. Okay. My name is John Whitman and welcome to the Roth home. The home where the possession of Lorenzi Venom took place 132 years ago. This home was built by the Roth family uh, in 1868. They were prominent spiritualists in this community. They believe that their daughter Mary Roth had been possessed and had died because of that possession when she was 19 years old. Twelve years later, in 1878, Lorenzi Venom moved to this house claiming to be possessed by the spirit of their dead daughter, Mary Roth. She stayed here for 100 days uh, until she was supposedly cured of the possession and went home. When Laurency Venom first came to the home, supposedly possessed by the spirit of Mary Roth, she came through those front doors, walked over to the piano and began playing. The sister Minerva, who was an adult by this time, mm -hmm. commented, they were the songs of our youth, though emanating from another's lips. Now today's a special day as far as the calendar goes. Yes. For Lorenzi being here. What, what's our special treat for? Today is the day that Lorenzi Venom walked through those doors 133 years ago today. So that would have been 133 years ago this exact day that we're here. Yes. So it's an anniversary date. So that maybe there's a little more spiked activity tonight with that opportunity. Actually, and last night felt um, kind of strange when I arrived back here. So okay. Perhaps. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Let's see something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Where should we head next? Uh, well, let's meander through the house this way. Okay. And... Well, this room, uh, historically in these homes, is the father's room. Okay. And you can tell the father's bedroom um, principally by two things. One is that there's an entrance to the attic. And then the second is that there is uh, a little entrance through the wall here uh, into the next bedroom which arguably goes to the mother's room. So this is the mother's room. Okay. And as you can see, there's a lot of work yet to be done in this room. Is there I mean, other groups that have come through here? This has been a popular room as well too. Mm -hmm. People typically get, uh, they'll see pictures of, in their pictures they'll see images of women or children in the okay. windows. They will get voices in video, okay. also audio from okay. this room. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty good room. This is probably one of the areas we should focus on upstairs. It's going to be this area right here, you think? 
about anywhere in this house, really. Anywhere in the house. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Back back this way next? Yes. Okay. So through here uh, is Lawrence's room. This room uh, was the room that Lawrence e. Venom stayed in when she was here for 100 days, possessed by the spirit of Mary Rolfe. Okay. Uh, it is said in the story that she stayed in a room she could look directly up the street from her window. And this is the only room in the house where you can look directly up the street. Okay. And people have gotten, uh, supposedly that there are a lot of good spirits uh, that flock to the second floor to avoid uh, other spirits in other parts of the house. Okay. So, okay. Uh, that's uh, with some uh, reports. Now, now the story behind it goes actually that the spirit of Mary Roth actually was possessed the girl in a different property. Yes. And then they brought her here, mm -hmm. today being the anniversary, mm -hmm. and she spent a hundred days here living as Mary Roth. Mm -hmm. And then after that they moved her back out of the house. Is that correct? She supposedly was cured. Okay. Um, she said when she came here that she would stay for a time, would not be forever, um, that Mary Roth had been asked by the angels in heaven to enter her body to protect it from the evil spirits uh, because her body, because uh, Lorenzi was ill and her soul was ill and what it allowed to happen was for evil spirits to pour into her body. Okay. Uh, so the, what is said in the story is that the angels in heaven had asked Mary to pour into that body and to possess it while the angels cleansed Mary's soul okay. or Lorenzi's soul. Okay. Uh, so she stayed here for 100 days while that went on. Toward the end of her time here in May, she began announcing to the family that she was going to have to go, and that that would be soon. And then on May 21st, she went and visited with the mother in the mother's room, and said that to say her final goodbyes. And then a final transformation took place, and Lorenzi returned for good. Uh, Minerva came over, the sister of Mary Roth, and she led Lorenzi back across town, first to the childhood home that Minerva now owned, and then back to Lawrence's home on the other side of town. Now, how far we I had heard there was something too about the yard with the oak trees outside yes. the window here. Well, there's a wonderful view here through this, uh, through this window. Lawrence had a nice view out into the oak trees. Now, several mediums who have come through the home report seeing many people out in the trees. And uh, they've asked whether it was a graveyard, or they've asked whether it's a portal. Mm -hmm. uh, or what exactly it means. All right. I'm curious about the basement. I've heard a lot of stuff about your basement here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Can we start heading in that direction? Yeah, absolutely. All right, excellent. So, welcome to the basement at Raw. <laughs> this is the entrance way. There's one medium who has been through the house several times, and he will not go past the last step in the basement because of the terrible things that he sees happening here. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Don't wait, wait. Going from here. There was an open house, of, like a ghost hunting 101 okay. uh, experience here in September, and there was a man who was scratched in the basement. He felt something warm, and when they lifted up his shirt, the giant scratch mark going down his back. Ovulus readings report back the same kinds of uh, words and names uh, over and over again across different investigations. I hear a lot of people feel that they, when they come down here, there's like almost a heaviness that they shouldn't be down here. It's not, not, not wanted down here. The, Is that something you've heard? The basement never particularly bothered me. Okay. Um, women have felt more of a hostile, aggressive presence here. Okay. Other than that, that's about it down here in the basement? Mm. Okay. The whole place is open for exploration. Excellent. Well, we appreciate it. It is great to be here. I know Matt's excited the whole drive here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's been looking forward to this for a while, yeah. so we all have been. So we appreciate the tour. Thank you Thank very you. much. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to get set up. And uh, like I said, I know it's kind of going through a process of, of cleansing of the house and so on and so forth. So we want to be obviously respectful of that too. So I mean, we're not going to be down here doing some of the wacky stuff and sometimes the other programs do. Mm. You know, we're coming through, we're going to really look at this from a scientific level, really look at it and try to find out the state of the house again. But okay. also, you know, you had another group come through here. Mm -hmm. uh, the house has been down, not right, used. The for the been, yeah, after last fall, I decided to close the house. Okay. And uh, so this, your group is the first official group uh, to come into the house. Uh, I think it's fitting the day of 
Lawrence C. Venom coming yeah. here for healing. <coughs> and, uh, and it's great that you can bring someone from the Make a Wish Foundation. So anyway, what we do is we go around the walls because typically the wiring will be along the walls. Otherwise, if you're in the basement and you have pipes and things that go overhead. This is the carbon monoxide meter below 15 ppm is normal. And then that's the thermometer. Yeah, do you remember when we were talking about cold spots in the car? Mm -hmm. That's kind of why we take these measurements before we start. Right. So if the temperature happens to drop drastically, then we, uh, it's something that I look into. So what do you think? Your first uh, official paranormal investigation, Erica. Any um, thoughts? So far it's pretty cool, good. Alright guys, so we're here now, Roth House is going to be an incredible night. We're going to have to, we've got three levels here, the basement, the main level, we've got the upstairs, bedrooms up, up there. What we want to do is make sure we've got a buffer zone between us. Uh, if we do come down here on this main level, we're going to try to just stick together and work together as a group. The sound travels in here like crazy, whether it's walking, talking, whatever the case is. So we're going to try to keep this middle level off limits. We're going to keep us upstairs and downstairs. We'll flip flop back and forth and then we can all work on this middle level together as a group just to keep the sound levels down. Other than that, if we're ready to go, we're going to split up right now. Uh, start with who wants to go to the basement first? You guys want to go down it there first? It doesn't matter. We'll send you guys down there. Justin and I will go upstairs and we'll take Eric with us upstairs. Sure. We'll start out up there. You guys can hit up the basement first of sure. all and then we'll just move from there. All right. That sounds good. All right, let's get to it. Good. I'm already getting a wicked as on the travel right? Come here. We have the uh, the thermometer. Are they okay? So we think maybe all the lights come on like when it, when it gets dark or something like that. I mean, there's a draft coming for this window, but it's not hitting down in here. You feel that? Yeah, I I don't see any holes. See, this is where a thermal camera would be perfect. Yeah. All right, that should be the first thing that our new sponsor should give us. Are we going to move around and like, sit in different areas, or just sit right here? No, we're going to sit here and okay. just kind of relax. So we can start this. I'm going to start this. OK, we're going to be doing uh, an EVP session. Uh, we're in the upstairs master bedroom of the Ralph home. Present is Justin, Kurt, Erica, Beth, Dave. I'll be putting the uh, microphone actually on the bed. The other one's going to be set down where this kind of cold spot was by the boots. And just a reminder if you shuffle, cough, make any accessory noises, make sure you say that was me or speak into the microphone and explain what it was. Everybody understand? Kurt, start us off. Is there anybody here with us today? That was John leaving the front door, I bet. That was another uh, sound from outside. I can hear noise from downstairs.
Is there anybody in here with us? It would be a train. <laughs> the really? really? Is that the spirit train or the soul train? Really? It's more noise from downstairs. It's another train. What is that? It almost sounds like a like a flap on a vent. Or a hinge squeaker. Yeah. Ghost. That? Yeah. Let's go check it out. Good. Just stand here and just be quiet and listen. Or radio wave, or did, um, it go, did the did the no, meter go all the way just, like, up blink. to red? No. Okay, just flash to the next one. Yeah, like barely even flash. Okay. The chirping noise is still the radiator. Am I just sleeping in here with that? Because you know it does that all night long. Who's in here with us? Anybody? This is my friend Erica. She doesn't believe you're in here. Want to go over and tap her on the shoulder, please? Yeah, I'm not. I don't really believe in that stuff much, so. Yeah. She can't see you. She doesn't believe you're here. You tell tell her that you're here. It's a motorcycle outside. Somebody talking outside, downstairs. We're up here on the top floor. The parlor is down below us, the rear parlor. And then the, the mat and the mat are downstairs in the basement below that. So we got a whole buffer between us. That was Erica's stomach. <laughs> that happens a lot. Be surprised. It's not like we can even move next door. The one over there is hissing too. You know, if, if you like fell asleep and listened to this screaming like a banshee thing don't you think you'd start seeing visions and stuff in your room too or no it would do something to you i think over time i'm mean, just even high high frequency pitches yeah just can get if there is something in here can you walk past one of these two um boxes on the blue box they won't hurt you if there are any entities in this room we have a a 13 year old girl with us, would you like to play with her? She likes to play with her dolls. Mm -hmm. She's going to be playing with them later. Are there any of the spirits still hovering around in this house from when the Roth family was here? 
that are stuck here in the house? Can you walk over here by us? If you do, Kurt will take your picture. All right, my whole right side is getting that cold again. Right here. If that's you, can you hold my hand, please? I mean, we got, it could just be a draft, but it's... Okay, I'm like getting chills up my arm now. This is weird. <laughs> Switch from the air to just sit right where I put your arm on. My hand's kind of right, right here. If that's you oh, making that cold, wanna you can touch my arm more, like over here or hold my hand. And we're just gonna take a picture. Flash. What are you feeling? Tingly cold. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I don't know, but and when you get up by this window back there, you really don't feel it. Like, only if you're like... You're right there. up by it. But yeah, if you go by the pile of clothes one more, you lose it. Yeah. I mean, you got the insulation of the clothing and stuff there, but... It's like freezing underneath yeah. my hand. That's how my, my arm was the other way, and this whole underside just all of a sudden got really cold and just shot these chills. Well, there's a five-degree difference between the boot just under your hand to where you're... Just do the between the two hands. See if this is the difference between her left hand and right hand. This is 86, 79. That's actually a pretty big difference. I mean. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chances are it's probably a draft. Yeah. Right hand outside. Yeah. There's been some claims of activity outside near the oak trees on the side of the house. Uh, some mediums and psychics have said they've experienced things out there, seen things out there. Justin and I, we're going to go strap on our boots, we're going to head outside, and we're going to hook up a trap cam out there, see if we can find anything, and uh, we'll find out what's going on out there and if there's any validity to what the mediums have said. Ooh. All right, so apparently, Justin, we got the tree line out here. They say there's... The mediums have said there's a lot of activity. They see people walking from out there. Like all the way at tree line or just these closer ones? All the whole tree area. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Two feet range. Is that good? <laughs> I'm gonna position it so it looks square. Okay. Good. I believe so. It'll set itself off in a few seconds, so we'll just walk away. There we go. We're good. It's filming 20 second movie clips when anything moves by it. So we're good. Let's go inside because I'm my ears are about to freeze off. All right, you guys, I'm going to have you guys go back upstairs. Okay. Or upstairs, you haven't been up there yet. But head upstairs. We're going to do the doll thing. You brought the doll along with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Erica, you're going to go up with them, too, and uh, help them get the whole doll thing situated. And Justin and I are going to head downstairs for a little while and get a chance down there. Okay. And we'll regroup maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. Sounds good. And I think what we need to do is we'll come at the end as a group right here on this level. Okay. Do a group thing, and then we'll split up again one more time. At least one more time. Okay. Alright. All right. Let's get to it. Good. Break. Thank you. 
Changing the temperature for you, Justin. Yeah? Did you hear whispering before that? Is that it again on my back? Dude, on, on one of the audio recorders again, the one right here, we did capture something responding back to Justin asking <laughs> to have his name said.